New day, new creepypasta. Well, actually... I wouldn't say... He's actually not considered creepypasta anymore, but... Uh, we're going into the backstory of Tiki Toby. Who was originally made as a creepypasta character. And then a couple of years ago, the... Uh, the creator of Tiki Toby, I think his name was Wade, uh, went, was on a podcast and announced that he would like for Tiki Toby to be removed from the, like, he doesn't want Tiki Toby to be in relation to any of the creepypastas anymore. But whether the fact that he's not a creepypasta anymore, I still, I still love his backstory a bit. But with that said and done, let's get into the stories. Now, we go into the backstory of Tiki Toby. Now, before anyone says anything in the comments down below, I know that the creator of Tiki Toby has, wants nothing to do with the creepypasta fandom anymore. I will respect that. My original plan for October was to go over backstories of uh, different killers that are fictional. All fictional killers... It's just unfortunate. It's an unfortunate circumstance that majority of them ended up being creepypasta killers. Toby's the ex uh, the only killer that's an exception. Other other than that, the only other creepypastas that aren't uh, the only other uh, backstories on here that aren't technically killers at all is. I'm going to spoil it, but you have Lost Silver and Lavender Town Syndrome. Possibly Dead, Par uh, Dead Bart as well. And a little bit a little bit of a spoiler for what to expect later in the month. This article's content is marked as mature. Page mature contains mature content that may include coarse language, sexual references, and or graphic violent images that may be disturbing to some. For those who are 18 years of age and older, yeah, 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 yeah. The boy lacked any normal appearance. Anyone could blandly see that something was wrong with him. His messy brown hair went in every which way, and his pale, almost gray skin was brought out by a luminescent lighting. His eyes were dark, unlike his mother's, and he wore a white t-shirt and scrub pants that have been provided to him by the hospital. The clothes he had worn before were so shredded and bloodstained that they weren't wear wearable anymore. First description of Tiki Toby. Yep. Tobias Aaron Toby Rogers, also known as Tiki Toby, is the titular protagonist villain of the creepypasta story of the same name. Toby is usually upbeat and hyperactive, however, he can occasionally be a very sarcastic person, and he will occasionally be uncontrollable due to his borderline disorder. He is shown to be temperamental when he is able to change from being very emotional to being very to being angry or happy instantaneously, making it impossible to speak to him at times. In spite of this, he can show kindness towards certain people, and he is also shown to be a treacherous troublemaker. Although he twitches and ticks sometimes, he doesn't mind, and he continues with the same personality. He's a bit of a jerk and annoying too. Hey, he's up on him. Past. So, Toby is a tragic boy who was born with several mental disorders and was constantly bullied until he went insane and killed his father. 
He was found by Slenderman and serves as one of his proxies. Toby Rogers was born with many different mental disorders, making it very hard for him to fit with people. His disorders caused him to be unsuited for a public school surrounding, along with earning him constant bullying, so he was switched to homeschooling, homeschooling early on. He grew up with little to no friends and he lived with his mother, his older sister Lyra, and his father. When Toby was 17 years old, his sister and he were involved in a tragic car accident resulting in Lyra's death. Becoming Tiki Toby After the death of his sister, Toby grew more and more troubled, his symptoms getting worse, barely eating or leaving his room, growing less and less social, losing more and more memory, and taking his stress out by chewing his the flesh off his hands and fingers. His father lost himself to drugs and alcohol and became abusive towards his family. Toby soon lost control of his sanity and one night attacked and killed his father. He fled out of the house, grabbing two of the hatchets in his garage, a box of matches and a gallon of gasoline, and set the neighborhood on fire in the, in the attempt to escape the local police. The fire surrounded him as he was about to give in to his own death. Slenderman appeared and saved him before he blacked out. Toby woke up with no memory of his past life and soon became one of Slenderman's proxies. We have disorders right here. So CIPA, congen uh, congenital insensitivity to pain with anadrosis. Causes him to be numb to pain. Yeah. Schizophrenia, delusions, bizarre behavior, disorganized speech. Yeah. Tourette syndrome, tics result in cracking of neck and joints. I just crack my joints naturally. I'll have to pop that one later. PTSD, post traumatic stress disorder. That was after the car accident. Amnesia, after he met Slenderman. ADHD and depression. Oof. So we have, and victims, we have his father, which he stabbed to death with a kitchen knife, and it looks like four middle school kids, all of them stabbed and bludgeoned to death with the hatchets. Nice. So this picture right here is what Toby would normally look like without his goggles on. Huh. Oh. Tiki Toby was created by Wade Cas uh, Wade Castaway. It's considered one of the more most popular creepypasta characters alongside Slenderman, Jeff the Killer, and Smile Dog. Even though this is technically Villains Wikipedia, not the Creepypasta Wikipedia. Hmm? Due to their similar backstories, many people like to imagine Tiki Toby being romantically attached to Clockwork, another creepypasta character. That's another thing is, uh, that. The creators for Tiki Toby and Clockwork, they basically want to forget that ever happened. Tiki Toby was born in April 28th, born on April 28th, which is zodiac sign is Taurus, the bull. His birth year wasn't revealed, however, on his newest preference, uh, reference profile published by his creator on August 16th, 2013. Toby was stated to be 19 in the meantime, and combining this with his canon birthday may technically implies his birth year to be 1994. It would also mean that Tiki Toby is currently 27 years old. According to his age chart made by his creator, Tiki Toby was 5 foot 4 and a half at the age of 17, which would be the time that his story took place. He also was five foot six at the age of nineteen and five foot eight at the age of twenty five. So you have that one right there. I say that 
this one right here, this is one of the more popular pieces of uh, fan art for Tiki Toby. Other than that, you also have uh, this one right here. This is actually a good piece. I think this would I think this would technically be a good piece too. Oh, didn't Honestly, I didn't realize that there was a little bit of uh his flesh missing from his mouth, but hey. Actually adds more on uh adds more to the killer vibe. What else is it? Got this one right here. Is he just it looks like he's standing in a swarm of oh a swarm of petals, yeah. Yeah, I'd say this is the one of like this one and then this one right here are two of the more popular fan arts for Tiki Toby, in my opinion. Hey you. Yes you, behind the camera. Thanks for sticking around till the end. Hey, this entire month of October 2022, there's going to be one creepypasta video a day throughout the entire month. So, if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.